Um, all righty. Well, uh, after that nice little technical hiccup, we may as well get started. Welcome everyone to the 12th of July, 2023 Kubert community meeting. Hooray. Um, this is a, a great one because uh, yesterday, hopefully everyone has seen that we released version 1.0. Um, Hooray. Hooray. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, thank you to uh, yeah, literally everyone who has contributed either small or large across the years uh, to get us to this point. This, uh, this is kind of a big deal. Um, and if you would like to share what a big deal this is, um, I've included links to the Qbert blog on Qbert um, webpage, the CNCF blog, which is more or less the same, except it's got a, some additional like what is Qbert section. And there's the Qbert tweet um, if you're into that kind of a thing. Um, is there, did anyone want to say anything about that before we, um, we hand it over to any new people? Nope, all right. Um, just as a reminder, if we could please um, uh, write down your name in the attendees section of the meeting minutes. And is there anyone here today that is new or maybe not new, but has never introduced themselves and would like to take the opportunity to do so now? Yeah, I'll take that as a, oh. Real quick, uh, hello everyone. My name is uh, Jeremy Miller. I'm a solutions architect for Platform 9 Systems. And uh, we're excited about Kuvert and uh, everything that it can do. So congrats on the 1.0 release. Thank you and welcome, Jeremy, to our meeting. Thank you. So we've covered the V1 release. Uh, the other thing on our agenda that we have is um, there are some Kubernetes community days. Uh, these are small, typically one or two day uh, Kubernetes community events um, in just uh, usually between 40 to say 200 people um, and they're very regional. So we've got one in uh, Austria, Sri Lanka and Texas. Uh, the Austria one is in Vienna. The Sri Lanka one is not, the city's not defined and Texas in Irving. Um, all of the CFP, CFP details are in the events wiki. Um, so if you're anywhere near those places or interested in visiting them, um, check that out. And it looks like Alexander is adding something to the open floor, so I will turn it over to him. Sure. So um, we are working on integrating uh, CDI 157, which includes populators, um, into the Q for CI. Um, and we have noticed that there's probably a, a bunch of tests that don't play nicely with that. So once that gets in, it will probably break the CI for a little bit until we work through uh, all the issues. We've identified three or four uh, things that might break. Uh, we're not 100% sure. So I just wanted to make everybody aware of that. Uh, you know, we, we are aware of the issues that will probably arise and we will work on fixing them. All right. And um, are you going to send out something to the mailing list, Alexander? Uh, it's it's not going to break anybody's deployment. It's purely for the developers or for the Kubernetes CI. So PRs might take a little bit to get in until we fix it. So that's all. Okay. Um, and there's no like uh, remediation for that. It's just kind of like, well, it will be fixed. So I just yeah all tight cool. yeah it, it, it's purely the tests you know there's some tests that are looking for a particular state on a on a data volume that's now slightly different so uh, and that makes the test fail even though the test itself is fine except it's looking for the wrong status so. but there's a few of those yeah. it should be relatively quick to fix but i just wanted to make anybody aware that if suddenly all your ci starts failing it's not you it's us Thanks for the warning. Um, did anyone have any comments they wanted to raise? 
Perfect. Uh, Miguel, I see you tapping away. Uh, hello. Uh, yes, it's just a shout out uh, to a couple of blog posts that show users how to use the oven kubernetes secondary networks to have like a uh, local net so basically you can create like um sdn secondary sdn networks that are connected to your uh cluster underlay so you you get access to stuff that is deployed outside of kubernetes and the big twist here or actually the game changer is that you can you you can also use uh network policies to govern access to those workloads so the combination of these two is pretty powerful and I'd welcome anyone to try it out. So there's a link, I've linked here like um, an existing blog post for the local net configuration and also a link to an ongoing PR that explains how you can use the multi-network thing, multi-network policies thing. And I would appreciate feedback on either of those, but especially on the open PR. Very cool. Thank you for bringing that up. Welcome. And we will move along. We've got two pull requests. Um, Andrea, do you mind clicking on the first one? And zero forty six. Oh, no, the one slightly below it. The fixed sidecar termination on migration introduces hooks. Which one? Sorry. Yeah, this one. Uh, one zero zero four six. Yeah. Uh -huh, I got it. Thank you. Yep, I saw this was raised a little while ago um, and it um, hasn't got any comments. Um, so if anyone can have a look at this one, I'm sure the author would be much obliged. And it looks as though someone else added a second uh, pull request to have a look at uh, about the Helm charts. Uh, yep, uh, sorry, this was not the appropriate section. Not uh, not sure whether it should have been under pull requests or under open four. But uh, anyway, uh, the Helm charts PR is uh, open and ready for reviews. I got one review so far and a couple of bit of comments. So I was wondering if any of you guys have has had the time to review it as well. Any feedback would be appreciated. Right on. Um, Andre, are we able to go? Yeah, awesome, thank you. And this would be Helm Child's proposal, uh, community pool 224. And I went through the uh, the mailing list and the bug scrub. I couldn't see anything that needed attention. Um, on the mailing list, there are a couple of threads that have additional comments if, um, if you're interested in checking them out, as we are here. The USB host pass through, and I think the network binding plugin. And the rest, I think, are all questions that have comments, if not answers. Which I believe brings us to the end of our agenda. Um, does anyone have anything else that would like to add before we break up? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Hey everyone, Dinesh from um, Sivo. I just want to say that we've recently used Kubevert to get GPU functionality added and have been playing around with that. And it worked an absolute treat out of the box with all of the documentation 
that was on the NVIDIA and the CubeVert docs. So nothing more than a thank you for anyone who has worked on that feature because it just worked and from the docs as well. So yeah, just thank you. I know those normally don't come in these meetings, but yeah, really great work on anyone who worked on that. I inferred the um, exclamation mark if that's all right. <laughs> yeah, all good. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the meeting and, and uh, sharing that. That's always nice to hear. And you're right, yeah, not, not, not so common. Does anyone else want to raise anything, um, anything interesting or any questions or want to say thanks for anything? Um, now is your time. Hey, do you have any uh, materials about that? Uh, I would really glad to see uh, how to use Kubevert to manage all uh, those GPU stuff. Is there any article okay. maybe? Um, do you plan? We've not, we've not got anything out yet. We're still in R and D, um, but. I think we're targeting end of this month um, to get something at least feature driven out and available. Um, and we'll look at doing a set of posts at the moment. But the the main documents we followed were the NVIDIA CubeVert doc. I think it's the top hit on Google. If you search for <laughs> NVIDIA CubeVert, it was about installing the GPU operator that they have developed. And then they go through the list of all of the kubevert feature gates that need to be enabled and what changes you need to make to the kubevert object. So just followed that for rote and it worked. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Nice one. Anyone else before we uh, wrap up for the day? Perfect. Short and sweet. Uh, thank you everyone for attending and paying attention to all these, all these things. And especially thank you to all the people that have been um, diligent on looking at all the pull requests and those uh, bugs. It's always a pleasure to, to not be able to bring stuff up in this meeting in that section. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Have a lovely week and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.